Zygmunt Adamski, minor, family man, gone, just like that. He lived a simple life in Tingley, England, a small village quiet. The year was 1980, June. The air thick with the smell of coal and secrets. Zygmunt was a good man, hard worker. He loved his wife, his daughters. He went to work one day, just like always, never came back. The unknown, it festers in the silence left behind. Five days. Five days he was gone, swallowed by the darkness. Then just as suddenly he reappeared, or at least his body did, found on a coal heap, miles from his home, a strange end to a strange journey. His clothes pressed, ironed, spotless, but his body, it whispered a tale of something strange, something wrong, burns, odd marks, unexplained. The police were baffled, the doctors even more so. A clue found clutched in his hand, a small folded note, the writing faded, unreadable. What secrets did it hold? What message was he meant to deliver? Was it a suicide note, a cry for help, or something else entirely? Something beyond our understanding, the note lost, misplaced, another piece of the puzzle gone. Theories ran wild, whispers of strange lights in the sky, of a man acting strange at a nearby police station, a man who matched Zygmunt's description. He spoke of a crash, of being on a train. Then he too vanished, disappeared into thin air, leaving behind more questions than answers. Was he connected to Zygmunt? Was he a witness or something more sinister? The burns, the marks, they hinted at something more, something otherworldly. Rumors spread like wildfire, whispers of alien abductions, of experiments gone wrong. Could it be true? Could Zygmunt have been taken, probed by beings beyond our comprehension? The possibility, however remote, sent chills down the spines of even the most skeptical. Time passed. The case grew cold, but the questions lingered. Some say he was a victim of a bizarre accident, a freak electrical storm, a case of mistaken identity. Others believe he stumbled upon something he shouldn't have, a government conspiracy, a hidden truth, and they silenced him erased him from existence. The truth, elusive, hidden in the shadows, lost in the whispers of the wind, was it a random act of cruelty, a cold case with no solution, or was there something more at play, something sinister, something unexplainable? The answers, if they exist at all, lie buried deep in the annals of time in the forgotten corners of our minds. The human mind craves explanation. We seek patterns in chaos, meaning in the mundane. But what happens when the answers elude us, when the impossible becomes possible? Do we cling to our rational minds, or do we surrender to the unknown? The case of Zygmunt Adamski challenges our perceptions. It forces us to confront the darkness that lurks at the edge of our reality. The world is full of mysteries, unexplained phenomena, things that go bump in the night. We may never know what happened to Zygmunt Adamski, but his story serves as a reminder, a reminder that some things defy explanation, that some secrets are better left buried, and that sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Zygmunt Adamski, a name lost to time, a face in the crowd. Yet his story continues to fascinate, to terrify, to remind us that we are but small creatures, living in a vast and unknowable universe, where some questions have no answers and some doors are better left unopened.